everyone and welcome to today's video. So today I am unboxing my second Glossy Box mystery box. So I recently purchased three mystery boxes from Glossy Box. They were only £7 each and I have already unboxed one of them. So if you want to check out what I got in that box, then definitely do that after watching this video. But yeah, just thought I'd give it another go and see what we've got in this one. So this one's come in the actual box that I seen you would get if you ordered the subscription service. The other one was just loose. So let's get this opened up. Okay, this looks cool. It's definitely different to the first one. So that's always a good sign. And we have got this very snazzy looking box. I don't know whether this was a particular special, but really really liking the box and i'm gonna get this open and see what i've got in here so first of all i really really like this packaging because the last one was just a plain pink box so looking cool to start off with so opening it up just all nicely tied up in here i will say glossy box definitely do pay quite a good attention to detail on their packaging because even the tissue papers got sort of like tapes on it and headphones and everything which is pretty interesting not sure what this leaflet is i didn't have a leaflet in the last one. Oh, okay so this is just telling me everything that is in here so i've just <laughs> seen every single spoiler for myself but that is absolutely fine so that is a little sneak peek and i will just dive into the first item so this is the first thing that i have pulled out and this is the nude sticks gel color lip and cheek balm and it just looks like this and that's a little swatch on my hand it's kind of like the consistency of a lip balm i'm not sure how this would go on the cheeks because it's got quite a sticky consistency i mean it's blended out okay but i probably would prefer to use this as a lip balm rather than a cheek balm just having a little look here in my handy leaflet and this is a full size item so off to a good start and apparently this rrps for 20 pounds not sure I would pay £20, but there we go. Uh, it says, rich in colour and glossy in shine, this multi-purpose beauty product works as both a gorgeous tinted lip balm and as a natural cream blush. Every pencil is made with skin protecting plant oils and is infused with vitamin E for extra hydration. So yeah, I think I definitely would use this as a lip balm rather than a blush. I don't use cream blush anyway, much prefer to use a powder and I really wouldn't want this getting like clogged up with foundation and other products if I'm then gonna put it on my lips, but maybe that's just me. And reaching in for item number two. So I have actually just noticed that it says everything in this box is full size. And this is the Glow On Fifth Beauty Rose Gua Sha. Now I do already have a Gua Sha, I think I got it maybe in a birch box and i definitely went through a phase of using it like a lot and now i just kind of forget so this is what this one looks like it's a nice color feels just like a piece of plastic really whereas my other one feels much more solid and much more like a stone or a piece of like jade or something so yeah this feels a little bit flimsy to me this also apparently retails for 10 pounds which i think is quite a lot for just a little bit of plastic um i'm pretty sure you can get gua shars for around the same price that just look and feel probably a bit more high-end than this one um, but if you don't know what gua sha is for, this facial massage tool helps to contour your face and neck to enhance your features and can also be used to relieve tight muscles. Use gua sha over clean skin for four to six minutes every day to flush lymphatic drainage and increase blood flow and circulation and you'll be left with radiant, vibrant and youthful skin. So I don't know if this is one of those things that's a bit like fatty or, you know, but I did get into a habit of using mine. And yeah, now I just forget. So I really can't see myself using this. Um, I will maybe see if 
one of my friends or family wants it so it doesn't go to waste. Okay, so the third item in this glossy box looks nice and snazzy and shiny. And this is a Steve Laurent Total Repair Lip Mask. And obviously it's just like a single use item. I, yeah, I think the packaging looks quite nice and quite sleek. This lip mask retails for five pounds, which I think is pretty much the going rate for a lip mask. Obviously you wouldn't use one every single day. You just use it as and when you wanted or as part of a bit of a pamper. So yeah, I think that's probably about average price for a lip mask. This one here says it will bring a burst of hydration to your lips whenever they're in need of a little extra love. Instantly soothing and revitalizing lips, this mask also helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines and leave your lips feeling and looking soft and smooth. So it's, I don't know what it's got really in it. Um, apparently got the collagen and some other bits and bobs in. Now the next item I've seen is actually something that I'm really excited about because I get through these products like there's no tomorrow, especially in the winter and it is a really nice hand cream so this is a really really good size hand cream it is full size it's 90 ml and this is the bubble tea peach bellini and i am currently using a bubble tea hand cream i think it's like strawberries and cream um definitely or like strawberry macaroon or something like that and it smells absolutely gorgeous. It does make my hands feel really soft, but just where it's getting colder and things like that, I just do tend to have quite dry hands. So always on the lookout for more hand cream. Um, this is a restoring hand cream to soothe and nourish. So hopefully this is gonna smell quite nice because I do really like the fragrance of peach. Okay. So it has got quite a strong peach fragrance, which I don't mind. It's not like too sickly or anything like that, which is good. I've just popped a little bit onto my hand and let's just have a little massage in of that one. I'm definitely feeling nice and soft and that lovely peach fragrance has remained. Yeah, I almost can't wait to finish my other one so I can move on to this one. So. This hand cream here from Bubble Tea retails for £4.99, which I think is good value. Again, it's about the going rate for a hand cream. Um, I've probably got some that have cost a bit more than that or some that have cost a bit less. And I wouldn't be loath to pay £5 for this really good sized tube of hand cream that smells absolutely delicious. So it says here that it is packed with fresh scents of ripe peaches. Definitely agree with that one and a touch of bubbles, along with added aloe vera extract and ultra moisturizing shea butter, this product is a real treat for your hands. Sweet and uplifting, this hand cream is guaranteed to nourish and soothe hands that have dried out from the cold. So, sounds absolutely perfect and yeah, exactly what I need coming into winter. And then just onto the final product in this glossy box mystery box. And this is the last thing in here, this little tube. And this is the Avant Hyaluronic Argan Oil Peony Sweet Almond Velvet Perfecting Rose Sugar Lip Scrub. And this is just like a little 10 ml tube. So it says here, spread the scrub on the lips, use your finger to exfoliate thoroughly leave on for one to two minutes and rinse off so sounds pretty good and i mean what sort of price would you expect to pay for this little tube of lip scrub so apparently this full size lip scrub rrps for 58 pounds what who in their right mind would pay 58 pounds for this, I could buy a pair of shoes, I could buy a bag, I could like <laughs> 58 pounds like a week's food shop. <laughs> so this here is fortified with incredible ingredients such as rose, peony and sweet almond. This scrub will leave you with super soft kissable lips. Key ingredient rose works to buff away dead skin cells and impurities to reveal fresh youthful lips. This product's light reflecting properties also illuminate the lips, allowing them to glow. 
And yeah, I can't believe that this is £58 and someone would pay £58. It doesn't really have a fragrance of anything, to be honest. It does feel quite sticky going onto my hand there. I don't know if you can see. That was like the smallest amount. I can feel like a slight amount of scrub in there that I guess will exfoliate your lips and just kind of spreading this all over my hand. It has sunk in. Still not getting any rose from that really. And don't get me wrong, I will obviously use this. I just, yeah, I'm just flabbergasted that this is £58 for this tiny tube. What I will say though is the value of the box definitely has well exceeded the £7 that I paid for it. I mean, just adding up everything in this box is almost £100, but I think even if this wasn't in here and this wasn't worth allegedly £58, that the other items in the box are definitely worth more than £7, so that's that's great. I don't feel like I've been ripped off or anything. Let me know if you pay £58 for a lip scrub. <laughs> so that was everything in my glossy box mystery box. And I do believe they do still have these on their website. They are, of course, just previous boxes from glossy box. So maybe if you get their subscription, I don't know, maybe you'd want to think twice before going for the mystery boxes because you may have obviously already received them through your subscription service. I mean, if you are happy to take the risk or just interested to see what extra products you get for just £7 and definitely would recommend. Um, this was my yeah second unboxing of Glossy Box ever and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I'd say the Gua Sha, I probably will try and just re-gift someone else. Um, the hand cream is probably the product that I'm most going to get use of straight away, which probably sounds quite boring because it's probably the most boring item in there. Um, the lip scrub, I will definitely give a go and obviously I'll, you know, I'll use it up till it's used up, but I can't see that I'm going to be repurchasing that one personally. Um, but yes, I really hope that you enjoyed this unboxing of Glossy Box. Don't forget to check out the first one that I did. And if you like these unboxing type videos, I have done a few similar ones. Also, if there's any other brands or boxes you want me to try out and unbox on my channel, then I'm always open to suggestions. Well, I'm always open to suggestions for anything that I can do on my channel. So do let me know in the comments below. But as always, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give the video a big thumbs up, leave me a comment. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I'll see you again in my next video.